arm and hand signal. An arm and hand signal is any gesture or motion that conveys information or gives a command, direction, or warning. The use of signals is essential in surveying since it is usually difficult or impossible at times to communicate verbally in the field due to distance, wind conditions, and surrounding noises. Move right to all left. The instrument man uses the signal to direct the rod man to move either to the left or to the right. The desired direction of movement is pointed out by the forefinger. Give a sign. The right or left hand is raised up and is held for a moment in a vertical position. All right. The level man extends both arms horizontally and moves them up or down. When both arms are brought still and horizontal, it is meant to transmit a command to hold steady. This is a point. The rodman raises the rod and holds it in a horizontal position over his head. It could also taken to mean to give me a line. Move back. The instrument man uses this signal to direct the rodman to move back further. He transmits the command by raising his right hand with a palm facing towards the rodman. Then, moving it into a horizontal position with his palm face down. Pick up instruments. When a new setup of the level is desired, the chief of party signals the instrument man by first extending both arms downward, then raising them up quickly as though an object is being lifted. Raise or lower target. The instrument man motions to the red man by either raising his arms above his shoulder to raise the rod or by dropping his arms below his waist to lower the target. Come in. The chip of party or the instrument man uses this signal to direct any member of the party to come in or assemble. Plumb the rod. The hand is extended vertically above the head and moved slowly in the direction it is desired to plumb the rod. Establish a turning point. To establish a turning point, the arm is swung slowly in a circle above the head. This is a turning point. To identify a turning point, the leveling rod or range pole is raised overhead in a horizontal position. It is then lowered into a vertical position and held on the point. Wave the rod. The instrument man holds his arms above his head and continuously waves it back and forth. Face the rod. This is a signal given out by the instrument man to direct the red man to face the rod towards the line of sight. It is executed by raising both arms above the head and twisting both hands back and forth. Reverse the rod. The command to reverse the rod is transmitted to the rod man by extending the arms above the head and slowly rotating both arms in a circular motion towards one side of the body. Move forward. From a position where both arms are extended horizontally, the arms are slowly bent on the elbows and the hands raised into a vertical position. This signal is used to direct the red man to move forward. Use the long rod. To give the signal to use the long rod, the instrument man extends both arms downward then slowly raises it over his head. 